Hello, my name is Alex with Apex Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a deep look at how to get started with Atlassian. We're going to be setting up our Atlassian ID, and then we're going to be quote unquote purchasing, although it's free for up to 10 people, uh, we're going to be purchasing Jira and Confluence. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and smash that like button. I have a ton of videos all about Jira coming your way and you're not going to want to miss out. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser and go to start.atlassian.com. If you already have an account, go ahead and sign in. But if this is the first time, you're going to want to click on sign up for account. You're going to want to put your email address and your name. So I'm going to fast forward past this part and uh, show you what it looks like. All right. So once you've logged in and you've created your account, this is what it's going to look like. And down here at the bottom, let me zoom in a little bit more. You're going to be able to see the different products you're going to try. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be trying Jira. But in future videos, it's convenient for you to set up at least Confluence. Uh, Jira and Confluence usually go together. And if you're going to be doing software development, I recommend that you also try out Bitbucket. We are going to be focusing just on Jira for the next few videos, but eventually we are going to be folding in Confluence and Bitbucket. So it doesn't hurt to sign up for them now, but um, we're just going to show you how to do Jira. It's pretty much the same process. And actually, I think let's actually go through this, right? As you, as you get started for free, um, you actually get the option, I believe, to add the other product. So let's get started with the number one software development tool used by Agile teams. So we'll click on that. And yeah, as you can see, you can actually add Confluence here. So I'm just going to add it just because, you know what, let's just add them all. <clears throat> I guess, you know, you can only pick one. So let's pick Confluence, right? Uh, let's hit next. No credit card required. And you are going to be asked to pick your domain here. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, a tech underscore or dash dash demonstration. No, I'm just going to call it ape tech engineering. Let's go with that. <clears throat> so what you're doing here is you're creating the URL that you're going to be visiting to basically log into Jira going forward, right? So instead of going to, at the beginning, we went to start at alaskan.com. Instead of doing that, you're just going to go directly to this URL that we just created. So let's talk about what's going on here. So this is the welcome to Jira software screen. Um, it's asking you what type of team you work in. This isn't very critical. What this does is behind the scenes, it's configuring and doing like metadata. You don't have to worry about this. Just, just click the skip. Um, you're going to skip here too. We just want to look at the very plain vanilla uh, Jira out of the box. And so what just happened right there was basically Jira's or at last and behind the scenes is configuring your website, right? Your instance of Jira. And, um, and so it's done that. So what you're seeing here, if you ever invite people to come and join your Jira instance, because again, for, you can have up to 10 people join for free. Um, what you're seeing here is basically your opportunity to connect to other tools. Again, we're sticking with just Jira for now. Eventually, we are going to be folding in Slack. We're going to be folding in GitHub, Bitbucket, Zendesk, Google Sheets. We're going to be folding all these different products in, <clears throat> but that is coming down the road. So for now, again, we're just trying to get Jira up and running, project management. This is your opportunity to invite people. Something I want to talk about here. So if you are on the free version, which is essentially what we're doing right here, um, you, you can invite up to nine other folks, right? So you can have a total of 10 people in your account. But what is really critical for you to consider is that you can't actually manage groups or put people, I mean, you can put people in groups, but you can't manage your permission settings um, at the project level. So for that, you would actually have to have a premium subscription to Jira so that you can do that. But if you have anybody else that you want to invite, again, you have up to nine more people, you're going to want to, uh, invite them here. If you don't have nine more people, right, then just click continue. And if you have over 10 people, right, which basically means you have 11 people on your team or more, 
then you are going to have to subscribe to at least the standard plan, um, which is about $7 and 50 cents a person now. Uh, Atlassian has been just made some updates to their pricing. So we'll take a look at pricing in a second as well, um, if that's something you're interested in. But for now, again, we're just kind of getting started. Um, you can put new experience. I don't think this is particularly matters. This is just kind of Atlassian doing like a little questionnaire. They're going to recommend a project. For the purposes of my video, right, um, I'm going to teach you my style. So I'm going to skip all that just because I know exactly what I want. All right. So once you hit skip, you're going to land in this page here. And this is where you're going to actually create your first Jira. But we are going to cover that in the next video. So for this video, I just wanted to cover you, showing you how to go to startatlasting.com, create an account if you didn't have one already, and then how to quote unquote purchase Jira. Again, it's completely free, up to 10 people. You get some basic functionalities. We're going to be talking about the differences between the free, standard, and premium tiers in another video as well. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that like button because we are going to be jumping into talking about the differences between what a Kanban, Scrum, or bug tracking video uh, projects are in the next video. So thank you very much. Appreciate the like, appreciate the subscribe. Make sure you check out the description below. You're going to find all my contact information. I actually do this for a living. I consult with companies and I help companies get started with Jira. Or if you're already in Jira, I help companies configure your Jira, right? And so I am available for hire. So if that's something that you're interested in, or if you want a more specialized, uh, dedicated training just for you and your team, all the information is in the description below. So feel free to check out my website and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.